What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Milo and I do travel and lifestyle vlogs. And today I decided to come over to Universal Studios to test out all the benefits that you have for staying at a Universal Orlando Resort Hotel. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the early park admission and we're also testing out if I buy something here at one of the stores it will, if it will actually get delivered to the room I'm also going to show you guys a few different options to eat besides burgers, fries and the soda and some of the entertainment that's actually going on right now before we go anywhere don't forget to hit the subscribe button activate the bell so you guys get notified when new videos come out and if you enjoy the vlog don't forget to hit the thumbs up alright are you guys ready? let's go! Okay guys, so I have to say that compared to a month ago when I came to the parks, today it is extremely, extremely empty. The crowds are way, way less than the first day of its reopening day back in the summer, which is nuts. I had never seen it so, so empty. First thing I want to say is when you stay at a Universal Hotel, they give you this dance every single day after they check your temperature that way no other cast member has to check your temperature throughout the day whether you are at city walk the theme parks or any hotel there are no virtual lines probably because it's a weekday today is wednesday but i'm pretty sure if you come in the weekend there will be some virtual queue lines Without a doubt, the most popular reason to stay at a Universal Orlando Hotel is the early park admission. Well, that's a little, a little tricky and here's why. It's not an early park admission like the one at Disney World where you get to ride all the different rides inside the park. Here is just for the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So if you're coming to Universal Studios like I am, it doesn't really apply. It only applies to Island of Adventure and I think the reason behind that is because Universal Studios opens up an hour before Island of Adventure and that's the hour they take to give you to walk in ahead of time. Okay guys, this is the ultimate proof that today the park is not as busy as it was about a month ago when I came in, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here and in the description box below as well, but check this out. This is the most popular side or land of Universal Studios and Island of Adventure, obviously the Harry Potter side. This is how empty the park is. It's incredible. It's the first time I see it like this. It wasn't even this empty again back in the summer when it first reopened. So it feels pretty nice. All right, guys, one o'clock in the afternoon and we are ready to have some lunch. But obviously we don't want to have the same old burger and fries. So we decided to try the crepes and also the tacos here by the Simpsons.
Okay guys, so we just finished eating our tacos and the crepes. I gotta be honest with you, the tacos, pretty good. They were about 10 bucks or so. But the crepes, they weren't the best, but they weren't too bad either. I think it's a hit or miss. Probably you'll be better off with the sweet crepes instead of the savory ones, but um, just so you guys know. After literally walking through every single store here at Universal Studios, I didn't find anything I genuinely liked to buy and have it delivered to my room. I know that the point of this video was to test all the benefits out, but I did ask one of the team members here, what is the process like? And basically they said that when you're paying for your stuff, you just have to let the cashier know that you want your stuff delivered to your room and they'll take care of it for you. Now the things will not be by your door on the same day but the following day so just be careful don't do this the day before you check out because i don't know how that would play out they did say that things do deliver anywhere between 8 in the morning and 10 a.m depending on the hotel you're staying at so in my case i'm staying at the universal endless summer resort things should be delivered to my door anywhere between 9 a.m and 10 a.m so just keep that in mind and while i'm here that you know the noise level isn't so high <laughs> i'll give you really quickly a park update um no crowds no lines and everyone again always respecting the rules keeping their mask on and uh, staying on the ground markings today the experience has been way way better than a month ago it's a weekday it's a wednesday probably during the weekend is not going to be as smooth in terms of the people staying on the ground markings or not having large groups of people around you like i experienced a month ago okay guys two o'clock in the afternoon pretty much walked through the whole park rode every single attraction heading out back to the hotel it was awesome now the only thing that's left to show you guys is the bus shuttle from the park to the hotel which is also one of the benefits when you stay at a hotel here at universal orlando resort and honestly my favorite one just because number one you save a lot of money you don't have to pay 25 bucks every time you come in for parking and number two it saves you so much time not just the drive but when you walk in here since you already have your temperature checked it's pretty much a straight walk on through the security point and city walk actually on our way to the bus stop we just made our way through the moving walkways right there came around and uh whew, bus is about to leave me here we are you just have to look for the resort or the hotel where you're staying at hop on the shuttle and that's it awesome i love it check this out <laughs> Thank you. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Okay, guys, we just made it back to the hotel. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the vlog. Again, we tried to take advantage of all the benefits that we get as a guest of a hotel here at Universal Orlando Resort. So if you enjoyed the vlog, 
hit the thumbs up and remember you haven't seen my best or my worst video yet so subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you guys get notified when new videos come out and with that from Universal's Endless Summer Resort and Universal Orlando Resort I'll see you guys in the next video